I guess the concern, if you're an investor, that this is has nothing to do with the crackdown of what they allege, but it, it's all to do with consolidating power. How does the Crown Prince communicate to international investors today? Well, uh, the message that we got over the weekend was quite clear, and it came from the king himself. Uh, it said, and I quote directly here, we will fear no one, big or small, this anti-corruption committee that was set up and rounded up. These uh, top-tier names, and I, I can't underscore this enough for you how, how massive a move this is. A lot of these names, you probably just heard of Walid bin Talal, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, you're talking about Saleh Kem, and you're talking about the former Minister of Finance, uh, El Asef, and, and plenty, plenty others as well, basically taken into custody. And we understand at least that they have been arrested. The charges have not been laid out, though, so that remains to be seen. But a very bold move from a crown prince who's already proven he's willing to surprise. And we thought that after the summer, we already had him cemented <clears> as the <throat> crown prince. We thought the political drama was over, but apparently not. Okay, what, what again, if you're an investor, uh, you're not used to this. This is all new to Saudi Arabia. Do we know, Youssef, who comes next, who replaces a lot of these people? No, there's absolutely no clarity at this point. The message was just an anti corruption committee had been set out the crown prince chairs it and these are the list of this is the list of people that uh, have been rounded up as a result of that there's no clarity about what or who is going to replace what we do know is that they have the power to trace assets which of course in the case of al walid bin talal is especially sensitive given his many global stakes in some of the key corporates but again there's absolutely no way of telling of where this goes on right. from here which is why a lot of investors are going to say i'm going to wait and see how this plays out